Okay, we're making a vegetarian dish tonight in my pan here. I have some mushroom and onion, and I sauteed them in two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of olive oil, and let that melt and saute. And when they were almost liquid free, I poured in about a quarter cup of dry white wine, and now I'm finishing um, just sauteing them in that white wine. You can see almost all the liquid has evaporated. So that's when you can pretty much turn them off. I added um, four cloves of chopped garlic and a little bit of salt and pepper to it as well. And now I have these French, um, this French bread here that I've cut into quarters, sprinkled it with, or drizzled it with a little bit of olive oil and garlic powder, sprinkled it with a little bit of garlic powder, and now I'm gonna throw these in the oven for about four minutes and just let them get a little bit crisp and then the magic is going to happen. I'm going to come back and show you what we're going to do. All right, so the French bread was in the oven for about three minutes. I cut the French loaf into quarters, sprinkled it with some garlic powder, drizzled it with some olive oil, stuck it in the in the oven for about three, four minutes, it, just until it got a little crisp, okay? This one's kind of falling apart a little bit, not a big deal. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some ricotta cheese. You can usually find this near like the sour cream um, and yogurt and everything. Ricotta cheese is like an Italian cheese. It's super mild, it's really good. This is what we use in canepa. And you're gonna take your ricotta and you're gonna spoon it onto your bread, just like so. Just get a little thin layer of ricotta in there. We're gonna do it to this one. I scooped a little bit of the filling of the bread out just because I I don't want so much bread. It's super filling that way. So I'm just spreading that ricotta. Sorry, I have a little bit of a runny nose. I just had my um, eyebrows touched up, bladed by Janie. Um, my microbladed touched up. And when they do it, it kind of gives me a little bit of a runny nose. So. All right, now this bread kind of, like I said, fell apart a little bit, but the cheese will glue it right back together. So I'm just gonna go like that. Now, you don't wanna use the whole thing of ricotta. You don't need the whole thing. I was inspired by a recipe out of Food Network magazine that's similar. And um, I'm, I'm switching it up a little. Like I said, I took the mushrooms, I chopped them with the onion and garlic, sauteed them in some butter and some olive oil. And then once the liquid absorbed, I put in a quarter cup of white wine. And now I'm gonna just take that mushroom mixture and I'm gonna spread it. And I know I gotta have some vegetarian lovers out there. And you can do this, you know, with less butter if you want for all you healthy people out there. And this is just one um, eight ounce container of portobello mushroom that I cut up. Sorry, Sophie. Sophie's my camera girl today. <laughs> I don't have my stand down here. And um, it's just one eight ounce container of portobellas chopped up and one medium white onion. And I put three, I think three to four cloves of garlic in there. And that is plenty for one French loaf of bread. So now I'm gonna do that. It's already Let's... looking yummy. Is it already looking yummy? Yeah. My kids are really good about eating vegetables. They really are. Okay, so now we've got the ricotta layered with the mushroom and onion mixture layered, and now we're gonna add some greens. I bought this, I really wanted just arugula, but they didn't have it, so I got the uh, baby spinach and arugula mix. I got that at Aldi. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna throw it on here. A little bit is, a, you know, just a handful on each slice. Oh my God, I'm already like dying for this. I love arugula. Arugula is a very peppery taste to it. It has a very peppery taste to it, which I absolutely love. All right, so now that's it. We're just gonna layer that, and guess what comes next? Some mozzarella cheese. Yes, ma'am. And then we'll, uh, oops, I forgot one. I was gonna say, oh, you forgot one. I'm ignoring that little guy over there, sorry. <laughs> okay, everybody wants a little bit of green. Um, yeah. Now, okay, now I'm ready. Now we're gonna take some mozzarella cheese and we are just gonna spread it on over. If you don't have the shredded, that's okay. 
you can just do uh, a slice of mozzarella and melt that over. But I think the shredded is going to melt much better. And notice, I do have my cookie sheet lined with parchment paper here. Helps avoid a huge mess, okay? Just doing like a handful of, let me move this guy over, um, handful of the mozzarella over the top. And I'm going to serve it with some fresh tomato slices and with a little bit of sea salt and that's dinner for tonight super easy i'm going to throw this in the oven for about i think 10 minutes or so till the cheese is nice and golden and bubbly on the top and i'll be back to show you what it looks like be right back okay one thing i want to mention is that i did toast the the bread at 350 degrees just for three to four minutes then i stopped the oven and put it on broil high on the high setting for your broil because you're gonna stick this in under the broiler and just you're gonna put it in there just until it gets golden and bubbly and then you're all set okay so we'll be right back to show you the beautiful end result and I cannot wait to eat this you guys here it is fresh out of the oven oh my gosh look at the cheese turn nice and toasty brown it looks amazing now all that's left to do is to cut up some tomatoes and sprinkle them with some salt and enjoy this amazing vegetarian meal oh my god i cannot wait you guys here it goes ladies the tr the true test right so bread ricotta Mushroom, onion, uh, mm -hmm. what's this leaf again? What, what is it, so? Green leaf. Oh, it's like spinach and arugula. Well, oh, Ava, is it good? Are you being truthful? Because you look like you don't like it. Huh? Mm. Apparently she likes that she's going back in for another bite. <clears throat> Vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And delicious. What do you think, Soph? <laughs> Awafi babies. I love you guys.